hey welcome or welcome back to xoxo sharina's youtube channel this is future me coming to you because i split the video so if you watched the previous video this is a continuation very helpful video if this is your first time um you know moving into an apartment uh just a few tips tricks hacks that'll help you out oh tip for the girlies out there if you are looking for apartments and they are telling you to apply before you look find somewhere else to live find somewhere else to live I, we heard that um well actually she's heard that i don't know if it's once or twice but there's one particular place that was like here's the virtual tour of the here's the virtual tour video watch the video and here's the application link no no ma'am no sir no ma'am no sir she will not i don't know what this is about um you know like quickly pushing people to apply no we don't apply until we see i need to see and i don't mean virtually i need to see something in your building i need to come in your building and see something before i apply don't don't give these people your information and they're not showing you nothing absolutely not no we're not doing that uh -uh. no um and then some apartment comes some apartment complexes are gonna show you models and it just it is what it is that's just that's just how they always have something to show um i get it but the downside of it is you see the model they staged it they decorate it really really nicely so you're looking at oh this is what i'm getting now baby that's not what you're getting what you're getting is the bare bones version of what they're showing you so you probably aren't gonna have the paint like <laughs> we was talking about that he was like yeah the um i think it was like a dark gray he was like yeah you won't have this in your apartment like they just they just did this for the model like that's that's the stuff i'm talking about like they will show you stuff because it's staged that is not what you're gonna have um he did say that i i could paint just not um was it like not really dark colors or or maybe someone else said that i don't know we've seen too many places um but yeah you're gonna see a model and the model is just staged so try to imagine it or even look at their floor plans and their virtual videos of the same layout but with nothing in it because that's what you're gonna get you're not getting um because a lot of times as women we go in and we looking at the home decor and it's so nice baby you're not getting this that's not what you're getting you're getting the bare bones version of that that what they're showing you is not what you're moving into they're just giving you an idea of what you can do with the space and then here's the space in the layout um but when they give you your keys you're gonna walk into a bare bones apartment and it's up to you to fill it up and decorate it. Um, what else? Make sure you always have your ID, of course. Make sure you always get your ID back because they do have to hold your ID while you're looking at an apartment. Um, but yeah, look for places that have amenities, that the square footage in the amount at least makes some sense. Gotta make sense. The continents gotta meet they got to um unless you're in new york it is what it is <laughs> but this metro detroit it them continents should should meet some way somehow you know they might just touch a little bit but they should be able to meet some way somehow uh, always best to live um, I just randomly decided to just start throwing out tips because my sister was asking me questions and I was like, let me say this in a video. Um, it's also good to try to move towards the end of the month. Now, the thing is, they'll try to push you to move at the beginning or the middle of the month. Try to push them towards the end of the month. One, because like for my, my situation, I have to move at the end of the month, but I still have to pay rent here full rent here okay but i don't but i have the whole month to move out right and then 
um but i have to move so when you move you got to pay the move-in fee uh security deposit like you got to have all the money for that too so if you move towards the end of the month like for example i gotta be out by the 31st i'm trying to push them to give me the keys on the 27th so that i'm only paying for the 27th the 28th 29th the 30th the 31st and then pay the full amount of month uh amounts for november so i'm only paying five days of rent for october because i already paid i already be paying 31 days for here so when i move i want to pay five days for october and then what is it 30 days in november is it 30 that's not right 30 days in november all on the 27th some people i've had that happen where some people would be like pay for the five days plus the fees and blah, blah, blah. And then on the first, pay your month's rent. I've seen that, but a lot of people are gonna just tell you pay five five days plus the full amount of rent plus all your moving costs on the 27th. So then when I give them all this money on the 27th, I won't have to think about paying them again until December 1st. You see what I'm saying? Because if not, you'll pay 31 days here and then you'll go to somewhere else and they say oh we got a place that'll be available on the 15th and the thing that kills me is people give you a date and then turn around and push it back that can happen too like they'll give you the 15th and then turn around and be like no actually there's some other things we found out and we want to fix it before you move in so it won't be ready till the 20th like that's just stupid to me but anyway they'll try to push you to like the 15th so then they can charge you from the 15th to the 31st plus November, the whole month of November. Baby, stop playing with me. Push it, push it back to the 27th. I only need a few days to get up out of here. Cause by that time, first of all, your girl's not new to this. <laughs> not new to this. Most definitely been to this rodeo a few times. So I know I can start packing stuff up I know I can get a U-Haul. I just got to get a friend to help and we can get this up out of here um, and then get it into the new place. And then that'll give me enough time to get stuff in over there. Well, actually, no, take that back. So say I move in on the 27th, I get the keys, right? When I get the keys, I'm actually going to go over there and clean. Okay. Y'all better act like y'all got black mamas and grandmamas. I'm going to go over there and clean. I don't care that you said it was clean. I ain't cleaned it. So I'm going to go over there, wipe some stuff down, spray some stuff down, light off some things, light a candle, pray over it, pray over my balcony, because I don't know who been up in here, but I ain't dealing with no energy you left behind. Hmm. Not at all. She's an energy cleaner. I will go in and do all the things, and then... I can move my stuff in there once like uh that's my plan do that on 27th and on the 28th i can pack everything up move it into there so then on the 29th i'm gonna come back here and clean it up here and probably do the 29th and the 30th to clean up here like clean up one half and then clean up the other half because i have all plans to like i know they're gonna clean the carpet and stuff but depending on how i feel i'm i might shampoo the carpet i just want my security buzzer back okay i also just i believe in stewarding things well so i just feel like i need to clean it up um plus i've been here three years and y'all not gonna drag me but i've taken care of this apartment pretty well Anywho, and then you know wipe stuff down wipe counters down wipe the refrigerator down you know just give them their stuff back like you got some sense like you got some decorum like you have some class okay um also have to feel all these holes that i've put in the walls too so give myself like a few days to wrap this up hand them all their keys all their stuff whatever um leave here gracefully and then get over there and yeah unpack and start trying to get my life 
somewhat together. First things first, I'll have to unpack the work stuff because work is still going to be going as I'm doing all this. So yeah, that I just wanted to give y'all that tip so that you can move without losing your mind. Because a lot of people want to try to move like everything done on Saturday or give myself Saturday and Sunday and then right back to work on Monday. Child, you are going to be tired. You are going to be so tired tired and that's also why a lot of people leave one apartment however they leave it because now my focus is over here and I only have so much energy and I got to be right back to work on Monday so try to if you could try to space your stuff out as best as possible do that it even if you're moving in the house that's do it the same way because you still need to clean that house you still need to walk around and pray over that house and I mean inside and walk around the outside if you're moving into a house y'all don't watch the movies okay <laughs> you you better make sure God in your house because Amityville Horror mm -mm. that was a movie that did it for me I was like oh I will never <laughs> I will never if I gotta if I gotta call my pastor to come over here and pray uh-uh also, I need you to pray over the basement because it always be the basement that's the creepiest place. Anyway, I say all that to say if you made it this far, thank you so much uh, for watching this video. If you have any questions for me when it comes to apartments, if I can answer it, I will answer it below. I share this with a few friends that, you know, they might be moving, especially if you're moving into your first place because, baby, don't let them play for play with you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!